Often painted as mindless killing machines in Hollywood movies, sharks are not what you think. Sharks. The very name conjures images of terrifying predators lurking in the deep, a fear fueled by sensationalized media portrayals. But beneath the surface of these misconceptions lies the truth. Sharks are not as dangerous as we've always known them to be. In reality, they are essential to healthy marine ecosystems and face a critical threat from human activities. Let's explore a journey to debunk common myths surrounding these remarkable creatures. So, are you ready to unlearn the fear and discover the wonder of sharks? Starting with some popular myths. Myth number one, all sharks are out there to get humans. The truth is far less ominous. With over 400 known species of sharks roaming our planet's oceans, including great white sharks, tiger sharks, and bull sharks, the vast majority have no interest in humans whatsoever. Yeah, you've heard that right. We are not even a part of their natural diet. In fact, shark encounters resulting in bites are exceedingly rare and often a case of mistaken identity. For some reasons, shark often mistaken surfers as seals in the less than clear waters. So no, sharks are not man-eaters. We are more likely to be killed in a car accident or slipping and falling in the bathtub than to be hunted by sharks. That's a one in a 3.75 million chance. Then there goes another myth that sharks are invincible ocean dominators with no predators. While it's true that many sharks are apex predators, ruling their domain with finesse and power, they are not without their own set of challenges. Well, what challenges do they have? Majestic orcas, fellow great white sharks, and even other species within the shark family can pose significant threats. And guess who present the greatest danger to sharks? It is us, humans. Through overfishing, habitat destruction, and the shark fin trade, humans are putting sharks' very survival at risk. Researches have shown that around five people are killed by sharks per year, while humans kill around 100 million sharks per year. So who are the scary ones and who are the real victims? According to another myth, mostly driven through movies, sharks are just brainless eating machines, always hungry. This couldn't be further from the truth. Sharks exhibit a remarkable level of intelligence, with intricate social networks and behaviors that astound scientists. According to the latest research, the brains of sharks are relatively larger compared to their body size. This suggests their high level of intelligence. Did you know that sharks are capable of problem-solving and social learning, and exhibit impressive learning capabilities? They have been observed displaying intricate behaviors such as long-distance migrations, complex hunting techniques, and social interactions. And what's more, their brain structure is also a bit different. It's complex. It comprises different areas tailored to their specific needs based on their environment and behaviors. Amazing, isn't it? So sharks are not at all the insatiable predators of lore, but are critical to the ocean's health. They regulate species populations, ensuring biodiversity, their role as ecosystem managers cannot be overstated, proving their worth far beyond their feared reputation. There's another popular myth about shark fins being delicious and nutritious. This myth often leads to justified, unsustainable fishing practices. While in reality, shark fins provide neither taste nor nutritional benefits. Moreover, being at the top of the food chain, sharks gather pollutants like mercury from their diet posing significant health risks even in small amounts. The brutal reality of the shark fin trade, driven by the demand for shark fin soup, highlights a dark side of human consumption. The demand for shark fins, primarily for an unproven health supplement, has been pushing many shark species toward extinction. According to another popular myth, sharks can detect even a teeny tiny drop of blood in the ocean. Wow, that's a scary one. Imagine being a scuba diver, getting scraped by a piece of coral, and then fearing that you've just signaled every shark in the vicinity. Well, in reality, sharks do have a powerful sense of smell, but it's not quite as dramatic as portrayed in popular media. Studies show they can detect blood at concentrations of around one part per million, 
which translates to roughly one drop in an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Moreover, sharks don't solely rely on smell to find prey. They also use vision, hearing, and electroreception. A famous myth claims that sharks are like scorned movie villains, forever plotting their revenge on unsuspecting beachgoers. The reality is, they're about as vengeful as a goldfish that just forgot its feeding time. Their actions are driven by instinct and opportunity, not by remembering that one time you accidentally bumped into them with your surfboard. So the next time you hear someone screaming, sharks are coming for revenge, feel free to tell them to relax. Unless they accidentally stole a shark's lunch money in grade school, they're probably safe. Sharks are incredible creatures who play a crucial role in keeping our oceans healthy. By learning the truth about them, we can ditch the misconceptions and start appreciating these amazing apex predators for what they truly are. Moving on, ever heard something like playing dead will fool a shark? Well, this age-old advice of playing dead might leave you feeling more like a pool float than a fierce predator yourself. Not exactly the survival of the fittest scenario, right? The real key is to channel your inner superhero. Turn around, make eye contact, and face it. Sharks are ambush predators, meaning they prefer to attack from below or behind. They'll feel less comfortable to move closer if you look at them head on. Try not to splash water around as this will make them more curious. Stay calm and slowly swim backwards towards shallow waters. Remember, sharks are more like nature's vacuum cleaners, driven by instinct, not a grudge against humanity. So stay informed, stay alert. And remember, the best defense against a shark encounter is a healthy dose of knowledge, maybe a bit of superhero swagger, just in case. As per another popular myth, shark populations are booming, posing a growing threat to humans. In reality, the situation is sadly reversed. Overfishing for fins and meat has decimated global shark populations, leaving them far more vulnerable than we are to their presence. The truth is more concerning. Any recent increase in shark encounters isn't due to a population explosion, but rather certain recovery efforts. Some specific shark populations are indeed slowly rebuilding, thanks to conservation measures. Similarly, climate change can impact animal distributions, potentially bringing sharks closer to human-populated areas. However, sharks may associate fishing boats with easy meals, leading to more interactions. So it's not wrong to perceive that there's a flicker of hope for some shark populations, but the reality is stark for most. And why is that so? They're facing tough times, struggling to survive in waters where dangers lurk around every corner. The trouble comes from many fronts, such as too much fishing, illegal catches, sharks accidentally caught in nets, and the destruction of their underwater homes. These threats have put sharks in a dire situation, making it hard for them to keep their numbers up. Ever read about their life cycles? Sharks have a tough life cycle. They grow slowly, take a long time to mature, and don't have many offspring. This slow pace of life makes it hard for shark populations to bounce back from declines. There's also a hidden danger in sharks. They accumulate harmful toxins in their bodies over time. This makes them not just a risk to the ocean's health, but also to humans who might eat them. Furthermore, many shark species have also been classified as endangered due to overfishing and habitat destruction. So what can we do to turn the tide for sharks? First, we need to adopt fishing practices that are sustainable. This means setting strict limits on how many fish can be caught to avoid overfishing. We must say no to fishing methods that damage the whole ecosystem, ensuring the ocean's health is preserved. Furthermore, keeping track of where fish come from can help fight illegal fishing. This way, we can make sure only legally caught fish make it to our tables. Another important step is creating and expanding marine protected areas that can offer sharks a safe haven, a place where they can live and breed without threats. But here's the thing. While it's a great start, it might not be the total solution. Sharks are highly mobile species, always on the move, sometimes venturing beyond these safe zones. That's why we need some serious teamwork on a worldwide scale. 
By giving extra layers of protection to the most endangered sharks through international agreements, we're giving them a fighting chance at survival. And that's not just important, it's absolutely vital for their future in our oceans. Hey, wait, haven't we heard it all? Nope, the myth pool is still full. Here goes another common misconception. There's nothing we can do to help sharks. The fact is that many conservation efforts are underway to protect sharks. These include creating marine sanctuaries, advocating for sustainable fishing practices, and raising public awareness about the importance of sharks in our oceans. By actively supporting these efforts, we can make a real difference in their future. Unveiling the truth about sharks allows us to appreciate their ecological significance and the urgent need for their conservation. By debunking these myths and engaging in responsible actions, we can ensure that these ocean giants continue to thrive for generations to come.